Hello everybody, few of you ask me in the messages if I can make video about the replacement of the wing fuel tank pump and I get a chance to record it so in next few minutes I will show you the key points from replacement of this pump. So let's take a look at it. For this job we're gonna need this special tool, it's called fuel pump extractor and then we need to proceed with pulling all the circuit breakers and the precautions for the working on the system. After that we can remove cover plate with a fairing under which we'll find connector and two remaining screws. Of course we need to disconnect connector and remove both remaining screws. After that we can proceed with the installation of the fuel pump extractor by inserting the thread rods into the holes of the sliding valve. By turning the knuggles we'll start to pulling sliding valve down. After that we need to pull the handles of the extractor which will cause the close up of the sliding valve. By pulling sliding valve down we will shut the fuel inlet from the wing tank into the canister. This will allow us to replace the pump without draining of the tank. Movement of the fuel pump and the sliding valve is stopped by bulk arm on the return ring and spring assembly. When we reach this point we can start turning fuel pump with extractor counterclockwise until the head of the retaining pin is clear from the slot in the fuel pump, like you can see here. Now we need to remove extractor. After that we can proceed with the draining of the canister by removing of the drain bolt from the pump. Inside you can expect something around 4 liters of the fuel. If the fuel flow does not stop you must repeat the procedure of opening and closing sliding valve. But in our case everything was ok so we proceed with removal of the pump. And how to do it? You need to install the hooks from the fuel pump extractor into the fuel pump. Then we need to turn bulk arm until it clear from the fuel pump flange. And then all what's remaining is just to pull the pump out of the sliding valve. But be careful, the pump can be stuck and then suddenly it can just slide out like in our case. But don't worry, we saved it. And how the fuel pump works, the impeller suck the fuel from the canister inlet and then push it out from this part of the pump into the canister outlet. And since you know function, let's take a look how impeller actually looks like. Oh yeah. So that's impeller. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's tight, huh? mm. yeah. Beautiful. And let's install the pump back, but before that we need to replace these three o-rings. And of course don't forget to properly lubricate the o-rings. And we can proceed with the installation, but keep in mind which way the connector is pointing, because the pump can be installed both ways. Then push pump inside of the sliding valve and with the help of the extractor turn the pump clockwise until stop pin in the sliding valve align with the stop pin hole location in the canister. After that turn the back arm in the closed position and push pump with the sliding valve into the canister. Now all that's remaining is to remove extractor, install two bolts, torque them with the proper torque value, then install connector. Before installation of the cover we need to perform mandatory leak check and test of the pump. And of course before that I need to close all CVs and I need to be sure that I have minimum required fuel inside of the tank. The volume of course you will find inside of the AMM. Then I just switch on the pump and I see that there is no low pressure message which means that we have a pressure in the system and leak check was successful as well. Now we can proceed with the installation of the cover and the remaining screws. Well this was few major points from a replacement of the fuel pump. Uh, of course I'm not gonna always show you the full procedure for that you have here AMM. This was only about these few most important steps. 
Hopefully you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please write them down as always in the comments. From my side, this is all. My name is Tomáš, this was Aircraft Maintenance with Zetor and I'll see you next one. Bye.